just I'm, I'm having difficulties hearing you. Uh, I was just, um, you know, if we can just try one more time, you know, about your how you know government in terms to welcome this proposition or about the 24-hour economy. Can can we? Uh, can okay. you hear me now? Yes, is it better? Can uh, that's you hear better. Me now? Yes, that's better. Right. So okay. I was saying that it's it's very easy for the former president to just recount the obvious challenges and difficulties. That is very easy. What what he fails to do is to um, give a clear indication as to what is being done to resolve this challenge that is part of the global economic difficulties that all other countries are going through, and how he believes he has a superior alternative to, to, to what we are trying to put in place to resolve, to resolve some of these things. But uh, come on, is there any country in the world today that is not going through these difficulties? He himself has admitted on several platforms outside this country that the Ghanaian economy is going through crisis as a result of the exogenous challenges with COVID-19. He himself is on record to have said that. And so if you acknowledge the cause of this challenge, the primary cause of this challenge, and um, we're all working together to be able to um, resolve some of these things, it's not enough for you to just recount. It's important for, for you to tell us how you believe you have a superior alternative to, to to what is being put in place to resolve this once and for all. The challenges we face today in 2023 are definitely not the same challenges we faced in, in, in the second quarter, the second part of 2022. Um, it's obvious that since 2022 to now, we have seen some improvements from where we were in, 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 in 2022. And today, that is why today you see some stability in terms of our, of our city against the dollar since January to now, unlike we experienced between March 2022 to December 2022. Today, the dollar that went on the way to about 17 cities in somewhere in November 2022 is around 12 cities in 2023. That shows a stark improvement from where we were. The, the prices of war went so high um, as at the end of 2022. You see it declining um, um, steadily in 2023. We, we saw prices of goods go up so high in 2022. Today, when you go to the market, some of these goods that we use, you can see the prices going down as we speak. I mean, vegetable oil, the, 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 the big ones with the yellow gallons, were selling around 1,500 to 1,800 somewhere late last year. Today, it's come all the way to our 500 to 550 cities. We know the government's intervention when it comes to um, dealing with the uh, skyrocketing fuel prices. When government decided to introduce a good for oil initiative to, to try and reduce our demand for forex, so we stabilize our currency and see some improvement in our in our in our forex price, and you can see its positive impact. And so, it's important that if we are going to have this kind of conversation, then the former president should not just be lifting the obvious, the things that every other country knows and every other country is going through, but also indicate that these are the things that the government is putting in place. This is the result so far. I believe that I have an all. I have a superior alternative to what the government is putting in place, and this is my superior alternative. Then the people of Ghana can, can, can judge. After the challenges, um, they are here with us, just as they are with the United States of America, which is experiencing a 40-year-old inflation, something they have never seen in a very long time. So if the former president is recounting things that are happening in Ghana that we haven't seen in so many years, it is because there are things happening in the global world that were unforeseen that all other countries are going through it and are trying to get their solution. And away that from the why... politics.